of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Happy Sabbath, children. My name is Henry. My name is Arnold. And I am Ian. And the three of us will narrate you today's children's sermon. Our topic is Calvary. Our memory verse for this sermon comes from Luke 23, verse 33. And it says, When they came to the place called Calvary, they crucified him there along with the thieves, one on his right, the other on his left. Remember, our theme for this month is the role of the cross. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the gift of Sabbath and for bearing our burden of sin on the cross. Remind us this morning the price that you paid on the cross for our sake. Thank you, Jesus, that by your stripes we are healed. Amen. Amen. Last Sabbath, we learned about the condemnation of Jesus by Pilate. Today, we'll be focusing on Jesus at Calvary. Jesus was taken to Calvary amid the shouts and jeers of the crowds. As Jesus passed the gate of Pilate court, the heavy cross prepared for Barnabas was laid upon his bruised and bleeding shoulders. Heavy crosses, just like the cross of Jesus, were laid upon the two thieves who were to suffer death at the same time with Jesus. Oh, that must have been a very heavy burden to bear that made Jesus faint beneath the cross. Oh, children, Jesus staggered on a few steps and fell again and again to the ground. And now his persecutors realized that he could not bear the burden of carrying the cross. They looked into the crowd and they saw Simon the Cyrenian, whom was expressing his compassion for Jesus. Thereafter, they forced him to carry the heavy cross of Jesus. By bearing the cross of Jesus, Simon the Cyrene was highly privileged, was converted, and accepted Jesus as the Son of God. Remember the two thieves crucified with Jesus on the cross? Well, while they were busy wrestling with the soldiers, Jesus never resisted. He remained calm, bearing the pain. What a loving Savior we have. Children, can you imagine your mother bearing the burden of watching you being crucified on the cross? This is the pain the mother of Jesus was going through as her dear son Jesus was crucified for our sins. The hands that stretched out to bless the suffering were stretched out upon the cross. The hammer and the nails were brought and they were driven into the tender flesh of Jesus' hands. As Jesus bore the agonizing pain, the two thieves wrestled in the hands of those who placed them on the cross. The heartbroken disciples and the nearly fainting mother of Jesus Watch helplessly as Jesus was crucified. Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus and force a thorny crown on his head. Dear children, despite all this anguish and pain, Jesus made no murmur of complaint. His face remained pale and serene, but a great drop of sweat stood on his brow. Children, just imagine the disciples of Jesus had fled from the dreadful sin and Jesus was all alone with the two thieves on the cross by his side. Henry and Ian, what do you think was in Jesus' mind while he went through all this pain? I believe Jesus must have thought, how could my best friends, my friends of my ministry, leave me at my deepest point of need? At around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept, and the religious leaders mocked him, saying, he saved others, yet he can't save himself. Jesus pitied the soldiers and prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Children, that prayer by Jesus for his enemies embraced the world. He took in every sinner who lived or should have lived from the beginning of the world to the end of time. Whenever we sin, Christ is wounded afresh. He lifts his pierced hands in front of his father's throne and says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Back to our story, children. As soon as Christ was nailed on the cross, strong men came and lifted the cross high above the ground. Pilate then wrote an inscription in Latin, Greek, and Hebrew and placed it above on the, upon the cross above the head of Jesus, where all might see. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. 
However, the chief priest was not happy with this. He believed that he was the king of the Jews and not Jesus. But Pilate insisted that the inscription remain as it read. Henry and Daniel, just imagine, after putting Jesus through all this much suffering, the soldiers divided his clothes among themselves. I don't think that was good of them. As soon as Jesus was lifted up on the cross, a terrible scene took place. Priests, rulers, and scribes joined in the mocking and jeering of the dying Son of God, saying, If thou be the Son of God, save thyself. The priest continued, saying, He saved others, yet he cannot save himself. If thou be the King of Israel, come down and we'll believe you. Christ could have come down from the cross, but if he had done so, we could have not been saved. He was willing to die for us. Children, as we conclude our sermon, the lesson from this sermon is for us to understand the importance of Jesus dying on the cross. He died on the cross for us to be saved from our sins. For us to be saved from our sins, we must accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of our lives. Let us read from Isaiah 53, verse 5, and it says, He was punished for our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. The punishment of peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love that you are crucified on Calvary for us. Draw all children nearer to you and help us to walk in your ways. Amen. Amen. Children, Jesus went through all this suffering just so we could be reconnected to our Lord and Creator. This goes to show much how, how much compassion Jesus had for us just so we could go and live with him in heaven. Children, join us next Sabbath as we discuss the death of Christ upon the cross of Calvary. Jesus is the light, I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light, I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light, I'm gonna let him shine. Let him shine, let him shine, let him shine. Bye, children.